Silent Hill Ascension. Is it a game? Is it more? Is it less? The answers may horrify you as we dig in to the first reaction of Silent Hill Ascension. That's right, there's been a new trailer release for Silent Hill Ascension. Is it a game? Is it more? Is it less? We're about to discuss that and more. I am the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You, the pontificating podcast that brings you news reviews and all that good stuff and more. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's take a look. I may have some inside details that I got direct from some interviews. Uh, let's take a look. So as I'm actually on the live site here and I got some interesting details, some interesting information about Silent Hill Ascension. Uh, it's going to be live in 2023, so it'll be coming out shortly. I think you're going to want to think of this more as a show than necessarily, or like interactive TV. Um, they described it as something akin to Bandersnatch, the Black Mirror show, um, but in instead of a were the what was that i did the i re, i think we reviewed it it was the a kill bear grills show where i tried to kill bear grills many many times this will be a little bit different because this is going to be you're essentially going to be engaging in an interactive show but the show will be everyone's decisions will impact it and the way that you interact with it maybe there's mini games and things like that it's pretty interesting so this is a match between konami and genvid and it's an interactive streaming series. This could be the future of television and gaming, or it could be a, it could be a big swing or miss. We don't know until we see it. Uh, they have a really fantastic uh, IP to work with in Silent Hill. Silent Hill has been struggling in many years, and as many of us believe, is one of the scariest games ever made. Silent Hill 2 still probably regarded as one of the scariest games and they have from the footage that I've seen here they have a head start on it I mean you're gonna be peeing your pants <laughs> if you're watching this but I think it's very interesting because it's very controversial how they're gonna execute this because it's gonna borrow from interactive fiction fiction like I said Black Mirror Bandersnatch whatever I called it before and Telltale Games The Walking Dead which was community driven play uh, so what will happen is they'll have daily, like basically clips of things that happen, which you can interact with. They'll combine all those if you miss it into like a week long, 45 minute show. And then as they're saying, it's crowd control decision making. Uh, this should be out in the near future, not like near, near future, but in the, in the near future, they have a massive storyline planned out. They're going to have multiple main characters and there will be no uh, mulligans as he says here uh if a main character dies they stay dead <laughs> you don't get to restart the game so it looks pretty interesting i i could definitely wrap my heads around it it's kind of like what maybe watching like a really long interactive cutscene. um people will be able to catch up you don't have to do it live streaming but it'll definitely be an event if you want to go and live stream it so and they're saying that it's gonna be available basically on on anything the most interesting thought is besides that you could do it besides your tv phone and pc is is the fact that it can be on your phone and it's supposed to be very high fidelity so i think this is going to be really interesting hopefully the fans don't just go like yes we'll kill everyone um they're saying for every 45 minutes of cinematics they're producing 15 minutes are branches that you wouldn't see so there are a, a potential of 36 different potential endings, which is pretty fascinating because that's pretty canonical for Silent Hill. Silent Hill's always been known for many, many different decisions or like your decisions in the game would change how you interact with it. And, you know, on some level, I like the idea that Silent Hill has always been a psychological game versus resident evil which has become more of an action player i wish resident evil would go back to the horror genre instead of being an action title but you never really fought anything in silent hill it was always investigating exploring doing puzzles 
trying to understand the story and pulling apart the threads of the story. And I think that's going to fit this intellectual property really, really well. I think it could do a really good job. I'm definitely interested. I think it'll be pretty cool. I know it's a difficult concept for t uh, people to put together, but I think they're trying something new and exciting and interesting, and Silent Hill is really the property to do it. And if you look at any of this, I, I, I think these people genuinely care about Silent Hill because Silent Hill is always about, you know, they're saying face your trauma together. It's always been about facing your trauma. Redemption, suffering, damnation. It's all very, you know, they're keeping it together thematically. I like some of the audio cues that they gave us. There's, there's some hints to some of the old songs. Um from the older games, but the atmosphere looks just as creepy as ever. Um, and when you get towards the end, uh, there's some pretty horrific images here that are pretty awesome. I mean, we see some pretty awesome stuff here. I'm only gonna play a couple seconds. Hopefully I don't get nailed um, for copyright, but there's some pretty gruesome stuff going on here, which I think is pretty awesome. It looks like there's a uh, Pyramid Head-esque character it looks pretty good um you know and i think people should you know they're gonna be a little confused but i think they should be excited for this you know it looks pretty interesting looks like there's clearly character deaths that can happen um there's some of this stuff looks pretty damn like that looks pretty awesome this wing creature comes in and stabs this guy there's this weird face monster thing that i saw here where was it? It's, uh, it's pretty gnarly. So it's right up. I think if you're into Silent Hill, you're going to like this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you in? Is this a little too confusing? Too heady for you? Not, you want more interactive gameplay? Let me know what you think. I think they've got a real interesting idea going here. And I think it'll be something that the fans will appreciate because it definitely looks like they're carrying the spirit of what they want to do. They've got the right themes. They're hitting some good music notes. They clearly got the monsters. And it looks like it's going to be an interesting story. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. But look for it soon. We They don't have an official release date. I think you could take a wild guess if you could think of one. I'm sure you could think of when they're going to release it. Because it's going to be in 2023. They're going to have a lot of data on who watches this too. So could this be, you know, another chip at taking out cable and things like that? Especially if you can watch this at this high fidelity on your phone. Looks interesting. Could revolutionize the industry. Let's see what happens. I, you know, haven't had a lot of faith in Konami since they've made some decisions that were a little sketchy. But... Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll give them another shot at it. Let's see what happens. I want to let you know about our free podcast. It is free to you on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. Like and subscribe really helps us greatly as we would like to grow this channel and help you discover some fun and interesting things to do with your time. Give you some chuckles while we do. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Appreciate you. But I am on to the next one.